A day of damage assessment from southeast Nebraska to southwest Iowa. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Julie Cornell. We start in Malvern, Iowa, which experienced some of the worst of Wednesday's hail. Just over a thousand people live there, and it seems like all of them felt some impact from those giant chunks of ice that fell less than 24 hours ago. Okay, TV News Watch Evan Sean McKinnon's live with what property owners face next. Sean? It's blue skies right now, but 24 hours ago, this center of the storm. Almost an hour of rain, wind, and hail battered this community. Today, people say there's nothing you can do but move forward. In this small town, they've never heard anything like it. It sounded like bombs hitting our roof. It sounded like a war zone. It did. I've never seen anything like it in my life. I'm 53, and that's as big a hail as I can remember ever seeing in the state of Iowa. Pelted by hail the size of golf balls, Malvern at the mercy of Mother Nature. You can't control it, and she's going to do what she wants to do, you know, and she's very powerful. This freak hailstorm is something else. Windshields sprawling with cracks, hoods littered with dents, and sunroofs completely shattered. Finally, I have a truck. It's paid off and nice and it just gets destroyed. You know, all the nice stuff you've acquired in your life and it can just be destroyed in a matter of a few minutes, you know. On Main Street at Little Red's Auto Shop, there's no time to process what happened. I guess I don't want to think yet. There's too much, too much going on right now. The roof of the office, now a massive hole and with water leaking in, fans. Cooling down a humid garage as business marches on. No, you gotta keep rolling. Gotta keep making the money. Gotta pull through it. Yep, fight another day. Tom Mulholland owned the grocery store on Main Street, the lifeblood of Malvern. Two years ago, it burned in a fire. This time, water getting the best of his home. The ceiling was wet in one place, and when I got up this morning and could see how much that was, then it was a lot worse than I expected. He's thinking about his neighbors. We'll bounce back. It's, it's an inconvenience. Uh, it's, it's a lot of heartache for some people that have it worse than I do. Now, weeks of patching roofs and cleaning up lie ahead. Nothing you can do about it, though. Be a long haul. We'll get her done. People here in Malvern hope they can get their roofs fixed before rain hits again, but for a town with just a few contractors, that could be some time. Live in Malvern, Sean McKinnon, KETV News Watch 7.